we have to figure out a way to pay filmmakers because if filmmakers can't make money, they can't make movies, which means they can't eat, they can't pay back their investors, and they can't make more movies. I'm Sheila Andreen. I'm a filmmaker first, and I'm also the CEO and co-founder of IndieFlix. I like to think of IndieFlix as the Netflix of independent film. Only we're different. Every minute watched, a filmmaker actually gets paid. Before IndieFlix, I was a costume designer uh, for television and film. And then during my hiatus, I would shoot independent films and travel the film festival circuit. Winning awards and getting great reviews, we thought for sure we would be able to find uh, distribution. We won so many audience awards. And when those distribution offers actually did come in, to be perfectly honest, they sucked. My producing partner, Carlos Canduzzi, and I met with a bunch of, you know, all the Hollywood distribution companies and the small boutique distribution companies and decided that since it's, there were no options for independent filmmakers, we decided to create IndieFlix to be that option. We went outside, we sat down literally on the curb and we wrote down on a piece of paper from my car um, what we wish existed in a company for us. And that was to be non-exclusive, filmmakers get to keep their rights, and filmmakers participate in marketing their films. At that moment, everything just clicked. IndieFlix. This was going to be the marketplace. This was the answer. This was the place where all these literally hundreds of thousands of films could come. We launched IndieFlix with 36 titles. We now have over 5,000 films from film festivals around the world. And over the years, we've been experimenting on how to find meaningful revenue for filmmakers, for, for many filmmakers, not just the few. And I mean, I have to admit, it's been really frustrating to, to try to, my whole mission has been, how can we make meaningful revenue for filmmakers so that we can continue to make more movies? And um, I think we've actually found it. I think we found a model that this is it. It's the elixir. We're calling it the RPM model, which is royalty pool model. Basically, we're gonna take 10% of the of IndieFlix's gross monthly revenue and create a royalty pool that will pay out 100% every month to every film. For instance, if 10,000 people watched 10 minutes of your movie on another platform, you would basically be paid the small licensing fee that was negotiated. If 10,000 people watched 10 minutes of your movie on the IndieFlix platform, you would basically be paid for 100,000 minutes at roughly a penny a minute when you would make $1,000. As the, as the subscriber base grows, the RPM, the value of the RPM gets greater. So you could be making three cents, five cents, 16 cents per minute. And this will be going every single month and you'll be able to see it on a dashboard in the back end. You'll be able to see your minutes viewed every month. One of the basic principles of the IndieFlix model is that the filmmaker has to take the same passion that they did to write the film, get the cast, shoot the film, raise the money, go to the festivals. We gotta carry it all the way home across the finish line into distribution and marketing. You can have your film on any screen on the planet, every screen on the planet, and the only way you're gonna make money is if you actually market your film. You need to let people know about it. And we help you do that. But we need you to work with us to, to, to do that. We have to do this together. Gone are the gatekeepers. We are empowered now. The RPM plays a bigger role than just a revenue stream. It's submission. We're launching it now and filmmakers are starting to make money already.